Hello, good day. Welcome to Martinez Design. In this tutorial, review tutorial, we are going to talk about how to print this workspace into PDF. So, majority of people find it difficult to print. Some even take it to AutoCAD. No, you don't need that. In Revit, you'll be able to print actually, and you print according to the past space. So, here is how we start. Please kindly subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to watch the video that we are making on daily basis. So, what you do after you have set your page on the sheet like this, and you have a page like this the cover page, the ground floor, the roof, and so on and so forth. If there's any one that you don't have, just click here and say new create new the new one we create pick a template of which you will follow this is the dr tree and the follow here you say okay when you have you have the similar one so you click and you drag the subject into the space like okay let's just choose west side now bring it here like that so here you edit whatsoever you want to edit by double clicking click here and say hide the element every element you hide them you hide the elements this one you do not need again so you come here click outside or you click inside and say toggle and say okay like that so from here you change it to no type 2 I think you've done something similar like this before. So that is how you do it in that space. Now, for the printing, what you just need to do is to go to File. Under your File, see Print. Just click on Print. On the Print, you have this as an example. If you say it should print straight up, it will print everything. But one thing you should need to do is that if you want to print all the sheets combined together, all you need to do is to select the few sheets and you then say, you say select this particular one so on this ground what you need to do is to click on multiple first of all toggle of the 3d again the toggle of the 2d so to remain the sheet of the sheet where you create that you have created and the existing so you say check all on the check call you can just say if you don't want anyone you can click on check it again so you see select so everything has been selected so what you need to do is to combine them into a single space of uh, what you want to do so by the time you do that one you say okay because you are using that depends upon the printer you are using if you have another extra printer you click on it but for here on the microsoft you have you want to print them to pdf so you click on print to pdf in this place if you want to print on document writer if you have, if you have a fax a normal name of the printer you search it from here and you say you should clean print on it so when you say print you say click ok and in this place just click i want to use my desktop so that i'll be able to find it whenever i do so i just click to say multi multi west so you say ok so the moment this one comes for you you click on this one and say find me so you click save or see saying okay I don't want that name again just choose another one E save because of that name that file is existing you want to save it inside so I don't want that so just name it anything and click on it so you allow it to load and everything to be printed it will tell you now that okay it's successful so you, you click go to your desktop and you go and find what you have done this particular one that will click on it so that's what you did but you know remember remember something the this workspace did not cover uh -huh. this is the drawing everything they join together is a single in the single document in the single file but one thing is that this workspace i don't like i want the paper to cover 
almost all the paper size. So the settings I want to take you the trick, the trick now. So the trick is that you come to file again, or you say or you, or your keyboard is there, press Ctrl P. So you say print, and this print now you come to settings. So you come to setup, you click, click on setup, and from this one that says letter, you go to A3. So the default size and everything is being joined together like that. So here of the zoom, you say zoom to you say you fit it, then you click on center. As you've done that, you can now say okay, then you you preview your drawing. Here is that you select a single one. You say current window, so you preview it. You see that the thing is expanded a little bit better. So from here now you can click escape. Sorry, you click escape or click close. So control peel again. So it says setup. On the setup I you increase it a bit to like five percent and see the reaction of what you are doing. You say no. So preview it. You see that small it has already cover the space of what you want to do. So that's the kind of what I want to show you. So when you say print now, click close, control P, go back and select the sheets, combine everything together and say okay. And here you see he he have and say save. Let me print and you see it in PDF that this is a different thing entirely from that from, uh, from that previous one. So allow it to print, take its time to load, and the moment it finishes, it will give up, it will light itself and jump. So from here now you can go to desktop again, show desktop, and here double click on it. Can you see? So you can zoom out and zoom in. Check this out. Let us use this particular space and this particular space. Can you see? So it took all the whole space to garner that. You see what I'm talking about here. So now you can decide to say, okay, you want to zoom out by looking at this negative sign. So, so when you look at it from here again, click it and let it zoom out. So look at it. This one cover the whole space. If you print it now, you print every every part of the document. The that the size and everything come out. And here. Yeah, some part of you have been chopped up, so the chopping part of it is is no more there. Which is something that we have collected in this place. So that is how you do what you do your normal painting. So you can do you send this one to anybody anywhere in the world. Now huh? they will print it for you actually and perfectly. So that is how you do a painting setup in Revit. So thank for the uh, for the video. Kindly subscribe to our channel.